Goods left. Where in Krieger's name did you come from? It 
Help me, boy. Can you see him anywhere?
Over here, Clive! Are you all right? Goats, there you are. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. All right. Let's get out of here. Something's happened. Forgive me, Yoda. But I must put a stop to this. Your Grace! So, uh, what do we do now, then? We destroy the heart. We might come back! As soon as the flames die down, the Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And Bahamut has gone for now. You should get as far away as you can, Goots. What? A new view slot in the ledge? I can't do that. If you're staying, then so am I. I. I packed everything up before I made a run for it, so if there's out you need, just ask. But I won't be giving it away for free. Nan would never forgive us if I did. Thank you, good.
Just let me get my stuff out. Right on, here you go. Is there how else you need? Right on, here you go. Thank you. Right on, here you go. Is there how else you need? You've got everything you need then. Finished! I think. I hope you like it. Is all done then? No. You be brave now, boy. Drake's tail is right there, Clive. It's time to free Storm from the Crystal's curse. Oh, it's past time. But remember, Bahamut is still out there. And I dare say we'll be seeing him again before the night is done. Just what we need. Another flood. It's already turned. There's no reason to hold back. Ugh! <laughs> 
way to climb up.
Are those the council's chambers? How are they still standing? I don't know. He'll be all right, Clive. He's a survivor. We're getting close. I don't care what it wants. Neither do I.
these beasts. They're getting stronger. We can think about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on. The heart. get up through the building. It's worth a try. Quiet. There's someone up there. Is someone there? child you made with the Emperor. Why, Mother? Why did you betray us all? You have no right! <gasps> Answer him! We took you in, Savage. Show some respect for those who raised you! <sighs> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the Blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty, the noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek, that I might join my line with the Lesages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. <sighs> you sold your country for a child. Why did he need another? You had Joshua. I had nothing. You were always your father's son, so very strong and bold and daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength? Oh! How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own, not long for this world. The shame of it, the shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. How could you ever know how that feels? It should have been you! Why didn't the Phoenix choose you? She was every waking moment. We spent trying to shoulder the burden that you and the Phoenix and the Duchy foisted on him. That's why I became his shield. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua. My darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? What? Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here. The Phoenix lives on. He's battling Bahamut as we speak. Shield of Rosaria. A 
And I will do my duty. What are you...
This is drinking the ether. We have to stop him.
Joshua.
My brother. I... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're alive. We both are. Nothing else matters. <laughs> I never dared hope that I would see this day. Reunited at last. Jill. It is done. The demon that would tear our house apart is no more. Father. <laughs> the Mother Crystal. It's collapsing. Right. We need to leave. No. Wait. I owe him a debt. Fine. Nothing be done to call them off. I regret not, Your Radiance. The Dragoons answer to none but His Imperial Highness. The Council is powerless to intervene. Madness is thus the Focus all efforts on extinguishing the fires around the capital. The city can wait. Dally man, go! Your Radiance. I want you to find out if you can have a down next move. By the light! Dion, have you taken leave of your senses? Call off the Dragoons at once! Fear not. The populace will come to no harm at their hands. I am here to save you, father. Save me? A creeping darkness hides in the heart of Senbrek. It stems from your wife, the traitorous Annabella. Not another word, Dion. Father, though you may not see it, the darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. 
But I bid you remember, there was a time when you ruled not with cruelty, but with compassion. Why now do you turn your back on your people? Why now do you seek to stoke the fires of war? You too have borne witness to this change, your eminences. And you know, as well as I, who is responsible for it. A puppet now sits upon the throne, but cut his strings, and the master loses the power! What? Tion, you bear steel before your emperor? Guards! Take him! For every citizen who falls, another can be bred. For every home that burns, another can be built. Those were your words. But when the last of your citizens has fallen, and all of their homes have been reduced to ash, what will become of your empire, of its rulers, of your god? As the mother crystals crumble one by one, and the blight sweeps in to claim all that we hold dear. Our people look to their emperor for protection. Yet he labors not to secure their futures, but to seize what is left of the twins for himself. Even if it should come at the cost of everything his loyal citizens have labored to build. Dear, you must understand. A small price to pay, is it not? You've been blessed with great power, Dion. Enough to win me the world. So go, claim Valestia for me, brother. He doted on his children. That he would die to protect me was plain. It was but a matter of when. You planned this? You did well to endure so long. But you broke in the end, as I knew you would. And now Muthos approaches. Put him to the proof. I would see if he breaks. Go, Bahamut. Kin Slayer. Stay here, mother. Come. Take my hand.
mother. bind you shall be severed, and humanity return to its proper place. By primogenesis shall a new age of reason begin. Majesty. Don't you want to play? It's been a long time. If that is your wish, Men, you are as meek as all the others. Such feeble creatures. Gifted the power of icons, yet slaves to fickle emotions which usher you to your doom. And so you bind your fragile worlds with strands of consciousness. The wretched handiwork of a wretched people. The sons of fire were united at last, and for but a moment, their flame burned bright. Soon, Muthos shall become our perfect vessel. And then shall the world be remade. Not before the bonds are severed. Of trust, of respect, of love. Only when every strand of consciousness is cut away, may Muthos return to our side. By primogenesis shall all be undone. Mankind shall be rid of his wretchedness and Muthos of his will. But while he yet clings to it, he has the power to forge bonds anew. And so we bid you. Find Muthos and sever everyone. To destroy that which has no physical form, you ask the impossible. There is nothing your black blade cannot cut, Odin. We shall unite with Muthos and bring forth a new world. So long as our vessel remains unclaimed by humanity. It shall be done, Master. My will is yours.
How is your brother? Asleep since I returned from the Dominion. Taya says he should be back on his feet soon enough. For a while, at least. She discovered something on his chest. A swelling, circled in stone. The curse. For every mountain we climb, another rises up to greet us, doesn't it? It's never ending. Even the sky seems to have grown tired of it all. Disturb Joshua. While he rests, I might as well see what Otto has to say.
See the pair that got pulled into tires? Clive. Mm. The old realm's in chaos. But as the old saying goes... If you're gonna buy some, be quick about it. Find a better price than that. It'd better all be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Is that all? Scratches, right? Not bad, if I do say so myself. It'd last you a good while. Yeah, that should do you. You can thank me later. Mother crystals and her sky. He's with your uncle in the free cities. Sent an owl their way the moment the winds turned foul. 
Still waiting on a reply, though. Do you have any? Well, that depends on you. All right, fine. What do you suggest we do? Oh, no, oh, I'm just a messenger. All of this could be that Lady Vivian and Old Tomes have their owns. Could be that they don't. I suppose. How is it that every one of your little excursions presages some inexplicable catastrophe? Not that you are to blame for the Dominion's fate. No one... I'm sorry I couldn't... My countrymen are stronger than you think. I hope so. <laughs> Look at us. Bluer than a pair. Tempting though it may be, sulking will not help us find a... You believe there's one to be... I don't know. But I am certain we're more likely to find it if we first examine... Beneath these darkened skies, fear and confusion reign over Valisthea. Oh, the lands around the fallen Mother Crystals had already begun to wilt for want of ether. But not like this. Crystals that filled wells and fueled furnaces. Now nothing but pretty shards of rock. And those that hang from the people's necks cast nary a glimmer of light to keep the dark at bay. It is only a matter of time before the common folk convince themselves that the end of days is upon us. Yet I fear a swift end is more than we can hope for. While most of the world thirsts for ether, the remainder drowns in it, spawning Akashic in droves. And amidst the hordes of mindless beasts, with magics as like to fail as function, even the strongest nation would falter. Rosaria and the Iron Kingdom teeter on the brink of collapse, while the tragedy in Twinside has all but paralyzed the Holy Empire. Dalmechia fares little better. Rumor has it the ministers fled the capital after the fall of Drake's Fang, leaving their beloved Republic to crumble. Wulud, meanwhile, moves in earnest. The Einherjar has been sighted off storm. The world, in short, is in chaos. It would seem our civilization was nothing but a castle of sand. To be washed away at the whim of the waves. A castle of sand? Not my best flourish, but it seemed fitting. The reports I've received are considerably more blunt in their appraisal. Without the protection of their nations, it will fall to the people to defend themselves against those who would take what is theirs. Which is only ever going to end one way. Defending a farmhouse against a band of chocobo thieves is one thing. But pitchforks and palisades will do little to stall an army's advance. Should the King of Wulu deign to invade, there would be none to stop him. Hmm. None but us. guess. You're here about the skies. Is there anything you don't know, Lawsman? <laughs> it doesn't take a court astrologer to argue the obvious. As for what has disturbed the heavens, that, I believe, is a question the Fallen might be better placed to answer than I. And on the sixth day, did the gods tear the sun from the firmament, visiting darkness upon their prideful sons and daughters? But I dare say you remember your childhood lessons on the sins of Zemeckis only too well. You think they're connected? That Ultima was one of the gods responsible? Well, he has certainly exhibited powers that we mortals would associate with the divine. There is nothing divine about him. Ah, <sighs> but he wouldn't be the first god of whom that could be said, now would he? 
Yet for all the fairy tales that tell of the sins, there is almost nothing in the way of actual historical accounts. Had I the journal of Moss the Chronicler, I may have been able to tell you more, but alas, I fear all remaining copies have been lost to time. You will forgive me, I hope? Certainly not. Because there is nothing to forgive. Even without this journal, you provided us ample wisdom. And we will always be grateful for it. Perhaps Otto will be more inclined to share his thoughts when he hears what the others had to say. Clive, we have a problem. Only one. That would be a first. It would. Actually, there are three. We had as many owls arrive while you were at the shelves. Martha's got a cash at her gates, and talk of monsters roaming the hills outside of Northreach has put the wind up Isabel and her lot. And don't forget Dallam Hill. Lubor says the village was raided by bandits. When it rains... It fucking pours. The curse breakers are spread thin, taking stock of the damage in the Dominion. And even if I could get word to all of them, I doubt they'd get here in time to make any real difference. Which means... There's only two people who can. Jill and I. Let them know we're on our way.
fancy a look at the list, do you? Anything catch your eye? Always something in there. I was wondering when next you'd visit. I have compiled some new entries, if you would like to see them. You wish to study the tomes? How are you doing? Quick look. First we find Isabel. I heard a bloke saying he saw ghosts in the I saw it with my own eyes. My lord, my lady. We received the dame's message. There have been sightings of strange creatures, I understand. With the blue eyes. Yes. They've taken so many. Akashic. <sighs> Altimus, and what of your mistress? Is oh, no. She went to the garrison to ask what they were planning on. Then we'll look for her there. Could leave. Madame, please! Half the garrison's been slaughtered by those things. We've tried requesting reinforcements, but what more would you? I would have you do your duty. Those at the Vale look to me and protect them, I shall. Because they are... In case you have forgotten, the people of this town are your... But more than that, they're your sisters. So you have a choice. Lay down your sword and watch as they are slaughtered. She speaks the truth, you know. This here, it's all we have. It's all that's left. What we have left is our lives! Not if we don't have to. Look, there's a cask under the captain's bunk. <sighs> I'll have a word with them. I didn't expect help to arrive so quickly, and sought to take my... It was a noble effort. I thought you might still need... I'd like you to consider my needs. Ahem. <clears throat> what we need to consider is where the creatures came from. The way the survivors speak of them, one would think they appeared out of thin air. <laughs> and perhaps they did. It's hard to know what to be... Hmm.
You're a pikeman, yes? I've got family and more. I heard the flood was spreading, so... And a pack of them glowing things found me in the meadow. Leave that to <laughs> My family! That thing... Did you see the creatures that... Creatures? They came out of nowhere. They went for Joseph first. Do you remember where you... On the road from Oriflam. We just passed more... It's all right. At least we have an idea of where the thralls might be now. We should head for more. I assume you have a plan? We need to find out... It was all they could do to escape. Let's go. Should I prime? Say 
Do you think there are more? There are always more. But I'd say we've done what we can for the time being. Then we should let Isabel know. You have the town's thanks. Don't thank us yet. There will be more. Many more. And you'll need to be ready for them. Oh, we shall. Isn't that right, Captain? Yes, my lady. The garrison will be ready. Philippe here has convinced most of the men to remain at their posts. <laughs> Hearing that the Dane would look kindly on any man who committed himself to the task, sir. So... It's not the most selfless of motives, I'll admit. But whatever it takes, eh? Now me, I never needed convincing. I became a soldier to protect the people I love. And the people I love include the ones standing before me. <laughs> Handsome and chivalrous. Now, if you don't mind, I have sentries to post. Milady. Lest you wonder, I'm not foolish enough to believe that this has solved all of my problems. But it has solved one, and that's one fewer than I had this morning. Philippe will make a good captain. He reminds me a little of you, Clive. But without all the mocks and mows. This man's gonna die if we don't get him to a healer. Good to see you. And you, Clive. Jill? Otto said he'd been attacked by a Kashik. What exactly happened here? Those skies are what happened. Not long after they fell dark, we had our first visit. There were hundreds of them. Tried to storm the hill. Only a handful made it up here, but that was more than enough. The rest are still down there now. And while we have a few willing fighters... What do you think, Clive? That we join the... F I thought you'd never... Now, where I need you is the Fallen Gate. Let the men know you've come to help. We're on our way. Do you think there were as many as Martha says? <laughs> More. You don't think they've abandoned us, do you? Clive, wounded. We deal with the Akashic first. Ugh! <sighs> 
These men don't have the look of hired swords. If you've come to rob this place... You are mistaken, my Lord Rosfield. We're here by Madame Martha's leave. How do you know my name? Forgive me, my Lord. There wasn't time for introductions. We're with the Guardians of the Flame. Wademan? But how did you come to be here? Where is your commander? Sir Wade left earlier with a scouting party to find out where the Akashic were coming from. Did he? Take your wounded back to the inn. Martha will see you're looked after. We'll join you when on. And to think you took them for thieves. A fine reward for holding off the horde, that is. When did Wade and his men arrive? Not long after Rosalith fell. The Guardians asked me to shelter some of them that had lost their homes. They were making ready to leave just as the skies turned, and we agreed it was best we stuck together. Martha! Trouble! The scouting party's almost at the lift, but they got a pack of Akashic snapping at their heels! And they got wounded with them! They're not gonna make it! Damn it all! We'll worry about them, Martha. You look after everyone here. If any can still fight, send them to the lift. I will. You two be safe now. I need you to get those who can still walk up the lift to Martha's. But what about... I didn't ask, Oscar. Sir. Sir Wade. Lord Rossfield. If you aren't a sight for sore eyes. Martha seemed to think you might need some help. And by the looks of it... We thought we could sneak by them. But we didn't know there would be so many. How could we have? Behind you! Damn it! We need to get the injured to safety. Do you think we can hold them off? We can certainly try. Are you with us, Sir Wade? Always. Then let's do our duty. Ugh! <sighs> 
finished. Is anyone hurt? I don't think so. And yet again, you've pulled me from the flames. <laughs> you've never been one to... I see you're all... Martha! Is something wrong? The lookout saw smoke coming from down East Pool Way. A second... I feel like finish. Always. Jill and I will make for East... You'll need to move the injured without... Don't you worry about... Th the moment my men are safe, I'll... after. Thanks very much. Oh! This man's gonna die if we don't get him to a healer. Jeez, my lord. Did I miss anything? Only the first round, so wait. Shall we?
Do you see any more? No. I think that was the last of them. But it won't be long before the next lot arrive. Then we make for Martha's while we can. What did you find out there? The same as Sir Wade. Scores of Akashic. Well, wherever they came from, they're gone now. Hopefully we'll have enough time. How many of your men went? Well, damn sight less than if you hadn't turned up. It was a hard-fought victory. But as long as the skies... It's not a matter of if the Horde will be back. But when. And when the inn here affords a good view of the land. And is easily defendable. What do you say, Martha? You'd have more men to... Well... When you put it like that... My lord. Oscar, over here. It is an honor to make your... I am Oscar. Oscar of... Ha Murdoch. I... I wasn't aware... Oh, he didn't. But his brother, my father, did. I am Sir Rodney's nephew. Well, go on, then. It's not for me. Yes, so... If it please you, my Lord Marquis, might you take me as your... I would learn the duties of a... Sh I'm sorry to disappoint you, Oscar. But I am S.H.I.E.L.D. no longer. Nor was I ever the finest. And spending time in the company of an outlaw hardly seems a fitting education for one uh, aspiring to take his oaths. My Aunt Hannah once told me that a man is not defined by his title, but what he does in its name. You have accomplished much since taking on the mantle of Sid, winning no little honor in so doing. And I would sooner serve under an honorable outlaw than an unworthy sheep. N not that Sir Wade and the other guardians are... I mean to say that, uh, the... It's all right. We know what you mean. There is only so much the boy can learn from me, my lord. But a squire... Would that really be so bad? You were a squire once. And I'm certain Sir Rodney would approve. Know that I'll show you as much leniency as your uncle showed me. I would not have it any other way. I will not let you down, Lord Rossfield. We shall be staying here for the time being, and not just for the ale.
it. Your new companion appears much more... Should I be worried? Ah. You haven't been introduced. Jill. Clive has told me much about you. All lies, I'm sure. Your Stolas said that Dalamil has a bandit problem. Indeed. Although, you're a little late. They left with our food and gill days ago. Any idea where they went? The desert's a big place. Your guess... But the fact is... What did you say to me? Ah, as if by Mac. Let's just say we've... Yet to reach a consensus about how... And at this rate, it won't be the actions of the bandits which prove to be... Oh, I've tried reasoning with the dissenting parties, but even the... Perhaps we could talk to them. What makes you think they'll listen to us? What makes you think they won't? Hmm. She makes a fair point, Sid. And you won't have wasted much of your precious time if you fail. Suppose we just follow the shouting. wouldn't talk like that if it had been your men whose throats were slit. Blood for blood. We hire mercenaries and have them mount the bandits' heads on... And what happens when those mercenaries are slaughtered like your men? We're better off using that coin to buy food and supplies. If we hire mercenaries, the only thing we're... And you cannot fill empty bellies with that. Do you hear me? But what happens when they come back? Maybe it'll be your throat that's slit. That's enough. Both of you. Any more of this and I'll throw you out myself. Come back when you're ready to talk like adults. Victor. What's he doing here? Sid, and Lady Jill, what brings you here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Costness is in chaos. The markets of all but the Briar's Kiss here in Dalamil is the only place I can re I was here to do just that when Master Lubor told me of his troubles. He thought I might be able to talk some sense into these fools. Who are those people? Those were the thorns in Lubor's side. And the reason this place might be headed... These are cursed skies. The darkness is enough to drive a man or an entire city for that man. We're still working on the skies. But in the meantime... Perhaps we can find a solution to Dalamil. I hope so. So, you see my... What I saw was a room full of people who were angry and afraid. And with good... But if left to smolder, that anger and fear... My thoughts exactly. Uh, both sides wish to protect their homes and livelihoods, if only they could agree on how. And if there's one thing bandit... What would Sid the... Well... He'd let them choose for themselves, and be on hand to pick up the pieces when... That sounds like a recipe for... <sighs> a recipe for disaster is precisely what it is. But... perhaps... That realization, while it's plain neither Conrad nor Natalie will countenance the... It may still be possible to... Before present... And that would... To pool our resources and say... When all that fear and anger can be... It appears we have a plan. Victor, pay Conrad a visit. See if you can't convince him of his... As you wish. Hmm... You're... Don't oh, worry. Victor and I will do most of the talking. Play along. What he means to say is yes. Picture. 
trick, Conrad. Ah, here she, Conrad. May I introduce you to Jane, commander of the Red Wings, the oldest mercenary. A pleasure, my lady. The pleasure is all mine. As I told you, I summoned the commander here from Canberra. Victor says you told him no, that there aren't any men left. True as the crystals cracked. Nobles came and claimed every last one worth his salt. And not just, you know of the seven high houses. There must be two score swords assigned each one. Granted, we have a few boys left. <laughs> if it's boys you're looking for. Well, Conrad, are you saying that Dalamul's finest cannot defend this town better than a, that a band of beardless youths could better avenge the deaths of your prey? Absolutely not. We'll show those bastards. I can't believe that actually worked. Conrad's not what you called the bright. And there's a reason why I had you do the talking and not... My shop. If I had my pickaxe, I would... I mean, it may still be possible to buy something. Ah, here he is. Natalie, allow me to introduce Lord Underhill of Randalar's prestigious... Uh, Lord Underhill. Underhill? I was just telling the good lady of our conversation, my lord, and how you were lamenting the state of the... Ca Lubor says that not only are the granaries almost empty, but that war and the blight mean this season's harvest won't be enough to... F Indeed, certainly that is the case. The nobles in the capital are buying up the city's stocks of barley and wine, driving the prices higher than most commoners could afford. It is only a matter of time before the peasants revolt. <clears throat> It is worse than I thought. If what Lord Underhill says is true, I fear we have little hope of... And while I applaud your endeavors to dissuade our more bellicose citizens from seeking vengeance, I say... Which means that now, more than ever, we will need to secure... If our humble town is to endure not only this hardship... All right. If it will help to protect my... But you needn't have gone through the... Thank you, Clive. Your performance was nothing if not... workmanlike. She saw right through it. I didn't say it was good. Merely that it produced the desired effect. Now, my scouts should be returning shortly. Meet me back at the Briar's Kiss, and we shall see what we face. I'm not convinced our roles in this ruse were entirely necessary. <laughs> I don't know. Conrad seemed quite taken with you. Mummy, I'm scared. Oh, I'm ruined. Good news. Both Conrad and Natalie have somewhat grace. With time, they may. Time no longer appears to be the I take it your scouts found the... Technically, it would be the bandits who found my scouts. Or... You're not sick. They don't just want food, they want... I have a... I'm told the bandits march in two groups. One from the south and one from the desert. In a move, doubtless, intended to... Very well. Jill and I will meet... The rest, my friend, the stakes I concede are high. But that is a lot of faith to put into those who had their hands around. Then it will be for us to see that their hands... I thought you might say that. We'll hold them off for as long as we can, and we will... Thank <laughs> you. 
The townspeople. Could they have held out? I don't hear any fighting. What do you think? That we should hurry. Natalie, I owe you an apology. You did well out there. The inn would have been lost had you not held the line. Without you, there would have been no line to hold. You saved us, Conrad. You saved Alamil. We all saved Alamil. Conrad seems to have had a change of heart. I'd say they both have. I take it from your presence that our visitors from the plan were granted it only took an army of bloodthirst. Calm now, Victor. Why, we are unite. As for you, Sid, I'll take that as a... seem to have things under control. For now, at least. Let's go and put Otto's mind at rest. Clive. You earned this. Come again. I may have more. For oh, ya. Yeah. Was wondering when you had hours from all our friends thanking you for... How is it you always managed to arrive at? Luck, I suppose. Any word on the rest? Hmm, let's see. Storm's still crying out. The nations are still in chaos. And the skies are still the colour of a kick in the kidneys two days off. Right. Clive, we knew this was gonna happen. 
Well, not the bleeding skies, Bob. Now's not the now's the time to visit the infirmary. Thank you, Otto. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. <sighs> Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua, what do you know of Ultima? Very little, I'm afraid, despite my best efforts. Eighteen years ago, as I lay buried beneath the rubble of Phoenix Gate, it was not death who came for me, but another. And it was while in my rescuer's care I first heard of Ultima. I've been chasing his shadow ever since. Ultima is driven by some deep, dark purpose, and for whatever reason, it would seem you are crucial to his designs. He will stop at nothing to have you even if that means toppling an empire. But why me? What possible use could I be to such a creature? That is one of many answers that have eluded me. Yet, I am certain of this. It is not mere chance. You were chosen for a reason. All dominants carry within them the might of an icon. Nigh limitless power that is at once acutely limited. I wield fire, and only fire. And I only ice. Eight wardens for eight elements. But you, Clive. You are different. You're special. Your abilities begin with the flames of Ifrit. But they do not end there. The fact Ifrit can even exist goes against everything we thought we knew of dominance. Perhaps Ultima has been waiting for one such as you, whose potential is truly limitless. I've encountered that thing several times now. If it or he, as you say, needs me, why hasn't he claimed me as he did the boy? Were I to hazard a guess, I'd say the two of you are somehow incompatible. His mind not properly attuned to your body. His mind? Mind, awareness, spirit, call it what you wish. But I believe Ultima to be an embodiment of the concept. It is why I struggle and fail to contain him here inside me. I'm sorry. Inside you? With every setting sun. I feel my strength wane. And though the Phoenix's flames mend the prison I have made for Ultima, they do so at a cost. We must find a means to bring an end to him before I meet my own. What were you thinking? It was that or let him take Clive. And I've always had a soft spot for my brother. But that doesn't mean you should sacrifice yourself to save me. Joshua! <coughs> Clive! It's Gav! <coughs> There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <coughs> well, what's the short of it? Uh, it's all tired, oh. told you. The capital of the free cities is under siege by an army of monstrosities. 
The city guard are doing their best to stem the tide. But numbers ain't on their side. What of Lord Byron and Mid? Were they able to escape? No. But they're all right for now. They're hiding with Gav at midship. We have to get them out of there. Mm. And we shall. Otto, prepare a stolas. Tell Gav to stay exactly where he is. Understood. Vivian, what's the swiftest route to the Free Cities? <laughs> that sounds like a question for the map. Look here. This road, through Tabor, should provide the least trouble. Good. What a coincidence. Tabor is exactly where I'm bound. Joshua, bed is where you should be bound. You don't think I told him the exact same thing? Were Taya not such a talented healer, I would surely have been inclined to agree. But, thanks to her ministrations, I feel I may safely rejoin my attendant, who was to wait for me in Tabor if we became separated. Alright, we travel together. Clive! If he stays close to me, he'll be fine. Thank you. Brother. I'll look after him. Blasted book! Here, you put me in this situation, Clive. You can bloody well get me out of it. Are you sure it's me you're looking for? I'm all the cook will be needing, thank you very much. What I want from you... You remember Ivan Stew, right? Well, dis so I thought I'd try making one of these supposed masterpieces. My it wasn't as straightforward as you'd hoped. Yeah, but this is my blooming kitchen, and I will not be outdone. So if you don't want to be seen as playing favourites... I've never been one to play favourites, Molly. So, a fried mortress of skyworm. Recipe seemed easy enough to an old hand like myself. Thought I'd fall. Only, turns out skyworm livers and Drake's mint are not what I thought they were. At least I hope they're not, given the. Ivan said the recipes in the culinary pilgrimage date back centuries. Wow. That's a quest. Kindly old fella who haunts the shelves, mate. Fine. And if he does, I'll see if I can find you. You do that. Let's. you can help me solve a mystery. I can certainly try. It's not who, but what. I borrowed them to teach the little ones about weight, and shortly after the lesson, my first thought was that they'd taken them off somewhere to play, but when I asked, they swore they had nothing to do with their having disappeared. Which almost certainly means they had everything to do with it. Perhaps a visit from... <laughs> I think it just might. I don't like to imagine that my pupils would lie to me. But if they have, I'll have no choice but to discipline them accordingly. My biggest worry is that the children have somehow damaged the scales, but are wary of asking for help because they think they'll be punished. And if I find out that's the case, I swear I'll... Lawsman Harpocrit... Ah, Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage, a classic. One of my favorite. The young man did a wonderful job with the Chancellor's stew. I do hope we shall be able... That's actually why I'm here. Ah, so the fabled Sanbriqua delicacy is next on the menu. Delightful. The descriptions of fried mortress never... Now, <laughs> Skyworm is a somewhat antiquated name for the Wyvern. Their ground livers being the paste from which... Dragon livers. One would have thought the disciples of Bahamut would have a touch more reverence for their icon's breath. I believe the specific dragon the recipe demands is the blueback Wyvern, said to be the very color of the sea beside which it... So we know where to look for our liver. But what about the Drake's Mint? Saint's Bonnet, in contemporary parlance. 
a herb which grows a I gather that one can locate the cheerful yellow flowers by their heady scent alone. So I'm, I may add that people once believed game was best served with the flora that sustained it in life. In which regard, fried mortis of Skyworm is undoubtedly a typical meaning that if I find one, best of luck and do was... Seems the hideaway's lost its appetite. Is everything all right? You seem more... Oh, I don't know what that means, but, but oh, I think Nan might be... A... It's all right. <sighs> Focus saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but... But she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but... I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? Don't worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks, Clive. You'll let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. Lady Karen. Not nearly as far. You're doing good trade then. Hmm. What exact? Not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half a care. But here you are today, re taking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. Just asking. Uh, all right. Oh, are you? I. All I know is that someone in Dalamil. And what? You believe it? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be there were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretched, but that woman is no more. And you. You're right, Lady Karen. It was wrong of me to. No. No. I reckon you've got better. Th of course. I spoke that the rumours were unfounded, along with some other things. And while it sounds like she may have done things she... Oh, I knew Nan wasn't... But why would people... No, but people do things for all sorts of reasons. Well, that trader, he said they were all talk, so that's where I'm going. I'll find someone... Are you sure that's wise? Whoever spread... Oh, but that's why you... <sighs> Rutherford? Wasn't that the name of my uncle's manservant? Where would he be at Martha's rest?
what do you reckon we should do? I say we should just tell... Sid! Out of your studies, I see. It's not a set of scales, is it? No. Well, not any... And just how long hasn't it been... We're sorry. But we didn't break them. Just like Miss Mididol showed up. Miss Mididol? And why would... Because that's the only way to become... Miss Mididol said... The best way I see how summit worked is to take it... Well, then, your work is already half done. Uh... The taking apart was easy enough, but... Speak for yourself. The heavy thing goes at the bottom. You three need to learn to take... So let's have a look at these parts with fresh eye. All right. Everything here, every piece has its own role to play. And if even one of them is missing, the scales won't work. You already know one of the pieces. The body. Its role is to support everything else. This is called the arm. Why do you suppose that is? It doesn't look much like... You're right. It looks more like a wing. You've ridden a chocobo before, haven't you, Sid? I'll think about it. Hold things. So... Good thinking. These round parts are called the pans. You all know what a... I do. Molly uses them in the kitchens to fry bangers. But these aren't for frying bangers, you idiot. But what if I wanted to wear goots? I don't think you'd fit on that little thing. <laughs> Probably not. What are the chains for? Holding the pans up? Well spotted. Which means something must hold the chains up in turn. This tiny piece is what's called a cogwheel, or gear. Have you ever seen one before? I have. Miss Minidol's dungeon is full of them. Most are on the floor. She puts them in all her inventions. They spin round and round and round and round and... That's right. They're very useful when you want to make things move. Do you remember if there was anything on the scales that moved? I remember the arm moved when I tried weighing an apple. And then somebody ate it. It's not my fault. You shouldn't have tried weighing it before lunch. We know what part's supposed to move, and how it's supposed to move. So, let's put the pieces together first, see what doesn't move, and then stick the cogwheel to that. Not a bad idea. You see? It's not so difficult. So, now that we've taken stock of the parts and learned what they do, what do you think? I think we've got it. Then here's what we'll do. You tell me what goes where and I'll put the scales together. Well, obviously you need to start with the body. All the other pieces fit onto it, don't they? And the arms go on the body, just like real arms. Or wings, if you're a chocobo. And then the arms hold the pans by the chains. Very good. Let's see if that works. There. Yeah. All finished. Yes! We did it! Well, with Sid's help. <laughs> oh, I just put the pieces together. It was you three engineers who showed me how. That's right. We're Miss Mididol's hairs. Her hairs? Yeah. Hairs for the future. She's showing us her secrets now, so we can help out the hideaway when we're older. What do you think, Sid? Are we almost ready? With a little more help from Miss Mididol and Miss Shirley. I'd say it won't be long at all. <laughs> you hear that? It won't be long. Until then, though, do try to be honest with Miss Shirley. Hey, look. We never used the cogwheel. You don't think Sid forgot about it, do you? <laughs> 